So today I'm going to teach you how to use an EpiPen. I'm going to show you a real one first and then we'll practice with the trainer. So the EpiPen is, do you know what it is actually? Mm -hmm. It's a shot of epinephrine. Right. And an epinephrine is adrenaline. So it's going to give you the side effects of adrenaline. It's going to make your heart rate go up and your blood pressure go up and make you feel jittery. Those are the, the major side effects of it, but it's also the purpose of it. Mm -hmm. um, and those side effects don't last very long. So this is the real one. And I just wanted to show you, it comes in this hard plastic case and you slide it out of the case like that. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you specifically how to give it with the trainer. But on this, there's a few little nuances to this that are not on the trainer. So it has this window here. Mm -hmm. This window is the epinephrine. Um, if there was a red shade down, that would mean that it had like auto injected into your case mm -hmm. and you wouldn't be able to use it. So if there's a wet red shade, it's no longer good. Mm -hmm. This medicine is heat sensitive, light sensitive, and cold sensitive. Mm -hmm. So it really has to come in and out of the house. Um, not leave left in a car, not left outside for prolonged periods. It has to stay pretty neutral. Um, but because it is light sensitive, cold sensitive, um, and heat sensitive, sometimes the medication is destroyed by those extremes in temperature. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, if you ever look in that window and you see that it is really, it, it is actually a little bit opaque, mm -hmm. but if it's really cloudy or it has anything precipitate, some things floating around in it, mm -hmm. or if it's brown, it's really no good to use. Okay. And you'd need to use another one. So throw it away. I will, yes, throw it away. So check them periodically is a good mm -hmm. idea. I will say if it's all you had, I would use it. If you were somewhere and you had no other option, I would use it. And call 911. Mm -hmm. You give the epi first and then you call 911. Also in the real one is both the lot number and the expiration date. Keep it within the expiration date. Okay. Um, when you pick them up from the pharmacy, we always tell our patients it should last you a year. So if, you, if they're giving you one that's six months expiration, ask them for uh, another one, because really it should last you a year. And then the lot number, in case there was any kind of recall or anything, you want to be familiar with where the lot number is. Um, so that's the real one. And we're going to put this one away so that we can play with the trainer. So this is the trainer. I put them in the plastic case just to show people. Mm -hmm. um, when you get a trainer, it's not in the plastic case. Okay. So what I ha are you a righty? Yes. Okay. So what I have people do is slide it out into their hand like a fist mm -hmm. and never change that position. Okay. It's going to go anywhere in your outer thigh mm -hmm. and it's made to go through clothing if you have to. Okay. But if you're, you know, if you can administer it directly into the skin, that's fine. Mm -hmm. um, it is, it's made to go through jeans as well. Okay. I just feel like if you can see the, the skin, then you're going to be really confident that everything is done correctly. Mm -hmm. But if you're somewhere where you can't take your pants down or whatever, go ahead and administer it through. It's, it's made to go through the clothing. Okay. So hold it like a fist. Mm -hmm. The cap has to come off to activate this. If you don't take this cap off, it's not going to work. Nothing's going to happen. The needle won't come out? Correct. Okay. The cap has to come off for that. Okay. So this is one of the reasons why I want you to hold it like this. Because mm -hmm. people just instinctively want to put their thumb there. Mm -hmm. And you're not going to remember to take the cap off. Okay. Also, if you do take the cap off and you put your thumb there, it may not allow the device to work correctly. Mm -hmm. But the biggest reason is sometimes people have it this way and they put their thumb on the needle end. Mm -hmm. And they will get injected through their thumb. And it really does happen. So we want you to be really careful and hold it like in this um, fist position. Okay. So I always tell people, don't take the cap off until it's fairly close to your thigh. Mm -hmm. Because if you're about to give yourself an EpiPen because you're, you're having a food allergy reaction and you may be having some difficulty breathing or vomiting or you know really feeling badly, um, if you take it off, you can accidentally inject yourself in a hand and an arm. We want it to go in the thigh because there's big muscle, it's really vascular, it has a good blood supply, and it picks up that epinephrine really fast and you know spreads it through your system so that you can be treated. So you're gonna hold it like that, take the cap off closer to the thigh, take this off, and then go one, two, three, and you hear it click. You have to hear it click you'll feel the injection. Mm -hmm. And it has a little bit of a kickback, meaning that it's under pressure so it can bounce out. So you want to make sure you're holding it really tight, firmly in place. Okay. And then you hold it in place for 10 seconds. And that's you know, probably the hardest part. 
is holding in place for 10 seconds. Okay. And then when you pull it out, this uh, plastic sheath will cover the needle mm -hmm. and you'll never see the needle with this device. Okay. And you don't have to worry about sticking yourself after it's taken out of your thigh. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about somebody else getting stuck with it because it's going to be protected. The needle will be covered and protected. It isn't necessary to do a big swinging action into your thigh to activate this device. It really isn't. You can do it just a few uh, inches away and get it to work perfectly fine. Um, why don't, actually, we'll do it from the, the real beginning here. So when I have you, go ahead and do that. Okay. So you're feeling like you, ha you need the EpiPen, and when you feel like you need it, you're going <laughs> to give it. There you go. Nice fist. Take the cap off and go ahead and inject it. Great. And hold it in place for 10 seconds. Pull it out. That's it. And the reason why you want to hold it in place for so long is that people's, their, their instinct is to, you know, inject and, and pull it right back out again. Mm -hmm. This is a one-shot device. If you pull it out, you're going to lose the, device, the medicine. It's just going to come you know, into the air. Mm -hmm. And you don't have the chance to give it again with that particular EpiPen. You'd have to use another one. So that's why we say hold it in place for such a long time. Then we're sure you got it. OK? The EpiPens come as a two-pack now. This is. Um, was from the hospital, so that's why it's a single pack. But even in the hospital now, I get them as a two-pack. They're only dispensed as a two-pack. Mm -hmm. And the two-packs also come with a trainer, this particular trainer. Okay. You want to keep the two-pack as a two-pack. Don't separate them so that you're carrying two EpiPens. And there's lots of reasons why you want to have two. Mm -hmm. One is that, say, the device had malfunctioned in, to the, in the case. And if you only had one, you wouldn't have another one to give. Mm -hmm. If somebody was helping you administer it and they accidentally got injected with it, which does happen, then you wouldn't have a dose. So it's another reason to have a backup. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, like if you injected it and bounced out because you weren't holding it firmly in place and you've lost the chance, then you still have another one to give. And sometimes people need additional epinephrine, and that's you know, really the last reason why you want to have two. Um, and you can give another one as soon as five minutes. So you give the first one and you have called 911 or someone's called 911 and you're waiting for the emergency medical system to come and help you and you're still getting worse, you can give another one as soon as five minutes. Uh, and you can give it at any interval after that as well, but as soon as five minutes. You know, it's a little more cumbersome to carry two, mm -hmm. but again, you know, you probably have a pocketbook everywhere you go, most likely, or a backpack, mm -hmm. um, and just keep those, those two together. When in doubt, give it. And, you know, any time, just if, if you're thinking, oh, I think I really should give it, just do it. There's really no harm in giving it other than you, you do have to go to the emergency room. Um, a delay in giving it is where people run into problems. So we don't want you to wait for, like, big, terrible symptoms. We want you to give it as soon as you're, you're feeling symptoms. Okay, that was great. <laughs>